Now to an ABC 6 News follow up at 11. A Cranston woman killed after she was walking and was hit by a car. It happened earlier this month. Tonight, she's being remembered as a remarkable historian and professor. ABC 6 News anchor Alyssa Azara spoke to Lundy Braun's colleagues about the legacy she leaves behind. Absolutely brilliant, generous, and kind are just a few of the words colleagues use to describe 77-year-old Lundy Braun. It's an awful... Uh, you know, just unbelievable tragedy. Um, all of us who knew her, uh, she was an incredible scholar, friend, colleague, all of that. And this is so shocking. Braun died tragically after being hit by a car on Strathmore Road in Cranston back on August 9th. She was, you know, somebody who was very kind of open to um, a number of, uh, you know, early uh, faculty of color who were in this field and sort of gave us, you know, um, credence and, and sort of treated us like colleagues and, and really sort of embraced the work that we were doing. And so, I mean, I, it is really, is, it is a tremendous loss. Braun was well known in her field. She was an emeritus professor with a PhD in medical science and Africana studies at Brown University. And she was a historian devoting her now internationally recognized research to race and the history of medicine. She traced how this particular piece of medical technology, which was used to, to measure breathing capacity, um, was of, often also a tool for reifying notions of racial difference. That piece of medical technology is a spirometer, and it led her to write a book called Breathing Race into the Machine, published in 2021. Those that knew her say people will learn from Braun's book for decades to come. Lots of people teach from it from all different kinds of disciplines because it's so beautifully written. It's so well argued. It is so, um, it, it's just a, an important book. Her legacy was that she both did groundbreaking work herself, but she also taught uh, legions of, of medical students at Brown and emphasized in her most recent work the need for medical students to understand the history of the ways in which medicine had been involved in, in systemic racism. In Cranston, Alyssa Azara, ABC6 News.